Hello and welcome back to Ant Holifer. Today we are taking a look at the latest Nightjay experiment once again. Don't think about the Namco Rubicon here, it's just my recording place for right now. This is now two weeks since I originally caught them and around two weeks since my last video. And let's just jump straight into the video. So starting off with 1A, there's some X as you can see and there isn't really much to say. This is the first time recording so the camera is a little bit shaky, but not much to say. She is as happy as ever moving all over the place and she has X. The next queen is 1B and if I could just move her a little bit. She also has some X though there ain't that many as far as I can see. She has decided to put it right up against the cotton. So it's kind of hard to see, but there are some X. Again, not much to say. This is a single Lacius Nighter Queen. Shouldn't really be any problems with just raising her in a test tube setup. But now for the bit more fun part, Colony 2A. So this is the first multi-queen Lacius Nighter Colony. And as you see, there are a few X again. Not really much to say, except there is actually a little bit of yellow in the middle of the cotton. I don't know what this is, I don't know if it's some ant pee or I'm a little bit scared that it's some fungi or mole, but I'm not too scared yet. I have also maybe thought that it could be because they have bitten each other and it's ant blood, but it doesn't seem like the queens are aggressive to watch each other. And I mean, they're both alive and there's a good nice egg pile. So if you know what this yellowish color is, please leave it in the comments below. Over to 2B, this is actually the colony that has had the most problems and I know it's only the second time I'm looking at the colony but in my original video they actually fought a little bit, I didn't want to put it in the video but they actually, the one queen actually tried to bite the other queen. Sadly it doesn't really seem like they have resolved their problems, one of the queens are just over at the X while the other queen is at the opposite side. All in all, I checked on these Lacius Niger Queens three times and two of the three times, 2B have been separated from each other. Though they are separated, here comes the second queen. Is she coming to bite? No, it just seems like she's coming to protect the eggs. Another thing is, look how many eggs there are. There's, there's, it's crazy how many eggs there are on 2B. Over to 3A. This is the first three queen colony. And there are a few eggs once again. Kind of hard to see. But what also saddens me a little bit is that we have some yellowish cotton once again and some eggs. It's very hard to see the egg pile right now since they are all walking around it. And lastly, 3B. Not much to say either here. The egg pile is a lot smaller than 3A and 2B, so there might be one infertile queen here. All in all, all six colonies with a total of zero dead queen ants and a total of 12 alive queen ants and so far so good though i'm a little bit scared of what this yellowish tint is so a look from above my two extra colonies does also have x and as you see from above 2b has separated from each other once again though you can see she's coming back again so i don't really know what's up with that i'm a little bit in doubt of what this yellowish thing is on the cotton my biggest concern is still that it's some kind of ant blood or mold thing, but so far it's only on two colonies, so I'm not too worried yet. But again, if you know what it is, please leave it in the comments below. And yeah, that's been it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video.